Hello everyone, welcome once again to our video tutorial. So in this video tutorial today, uh, we will show you and guide you how to create a custom user, custom user field. So if you see here uh, in my screen, create account, uh, we need to add some custom fields here, customized fields. Uh, let's say for example, uh, uh, address, uh, like your birthday or uh, anything uh, that is not a part in here. Uh, we will try to uh, customize it. Okay. Now, uh, to do this, uh, we need to go to our administrator. So we, uh, we go back to our administrator page and then here, uh, if you can see, since we need to custom field a user, we need to create the users. And then here, there's two area that we need to, uh, uh, to, to add the fields group and then the fields. So here, we need to add the fields group first. And then uh, let's say, for example, I would say uh, distributors profile. Okay, so I'll put uh, distributors profile. So anything, anything that uh, you would like to add in there. And then uh, click save this one. And you need to check the permission as well if uh, you have access here. So by default, uh, it's uh, not allowed. So click this one and click allowed. All right. Uh, then go back here. So now we have the uh, the the edit field group. We need to close this one, and uh, we need to go back to the fields. So the, uh, we need to put it in a group. So that's why we add it in a field group. So here. I would say uh, distributor's name. Oh. Yes, and then uh, you can put uh, descriptions what what you want here, and then uh, you can either put it required or uh, or not required. But in this case, uh, we need to uh, add it in the group that we have created. A distributors profile all right and then click save so now it was saved you need also to check the permission but since you have uh, the group field uh, that you add it uh, allowed in the group field it will also uh, uh, so to say adapt uh, what you have added on the prof on the permission all right so now let's uh, try to refresh our, let's go back to our front page and try to refresh it. So this is what we have uh, before. So let's try to refresh the page. And then you have here now the distributor's profile and then distributor's name. So uh, any fields that you would like to add here uh, could be added. All right. Uh, so, so let's go back here. And then let's close this one. Uh, let's let's make a, a new field. Let's say, for example, uh, 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 I would say, uh, what do you want to make a test? So uh, if here you can, you can you can do anything actually so here uh, let's put calendar like a uh, distributors birthday or anniversary so, uh, I would say birthday yeah so uh, just uh, put this in this field distributor profile click save and then if you refresh here, we should have some distributors birthday, something like that. And you click that one. So you have an option here. So if you type calendar, all right. So this is how you customize 
a custom field for users registration no need for you to add some uh, joomla extension so in the in the previous version of joomla uh, they still have these options but uh, uh, it's not that easy that you you, you add a field now uh, they made it easier right now in uh, joomla 4 all right so that's it that's how you uh, add a custom field for user thank you for watching and see you in the next video tutorial bye